Howdy. I'm Cyberact with Outlandishly Grounded, and today we're gonna be doing some. <gasps> nope, not that one. We're gonna be doing this one. <clears throat> Let's talk about how to make a add on. How to make a mod the, the easy way without doing all that code, that code, that code shit you see everybody else suggesting from the the Javaers. The Javaers say, get out VS Code and do all this stuff, and I say, I don't want to do that, sir. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to make your own mods. Here we go. We're gonna open up a world. Just start a world, doesn't matter. Just start a world. Doesn't matter what it says. You just start that world. And then once we have that world started, you need to have OP self. So you're gonna OP yourself. And the OPing yourself allows you to get to this creative menu and the asset editor. So open up the asset editor. It'll take a second to launch up and you see this is just a separate window. And then we're gonna do, oh, we're, first we're gonna, oh, it's not even gonna let us do it. Okay, so we're gonna come up here to this little, these little dots and we're gonna do add a pack. Then we're gonna type in our name, outlandish, crafted right and in this case this is a unique identifier for this pack so I'm gonna do it like this template and I'm gonna say outlandishly crafted template okay outland outlandishly and then I'm gonna say it's 0 0.0.1 and you can put in your web address and your description and your authors I put in like cyberx and I put my email in here right and then we're gonna hit save now check this out now we have this add-on here this mod ready to go we, we don't we don't got to do anything else it's already ready it's here now what we are going to do though, is if we start doing stuff in here, it, this mod's in the world, it's not in our global pack. So we're going to close this guy, and we're going to quit to desktop. And over here, we've got our saves, and day one's just what I called the world. And then in there we've got mods and see we've got this template in here. So we're going to copy this template. We're going to go back to user data and we're going to paste this template into our global mods folder. Okay. Now we're going to start the game back up. And now we're going to go back to our world. And I forgot a step. So we went back to our world, but we needed to add that mod in that we want to play with. So the mod we want to play with, we're going to come over here and we're going to add it right here. So we created a mod we moved it from the world to global and now we're just going to apply it to this pack so that we can play with it in real time so we clicked it now we're saving now it's going to load that up so now we have a mod with nothing in it right and it's in our mods folder. So now we can hit tab and we can go back to our asset editor. And up here we can click our template. And now I want to do something like, I want to go find 
the gun. So I'm going to go back to the normal one. And I'm going to go find weapons and guns. And here's a gun. I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to duplicate it. And it's going to automatically give me the option for where I want to duplicate it into. I want to duplicate it into my template. I want it to be a item. It's already got all the other stuff for guns and weapons in there. So all I need to do now is name it. And you have to have an uppercase uh, for the start character and for every character after a underscore. So see how the C and the M and the S and the L are all uppercase. So we're gonna say space gun A, for example. And then you can see all these other things that are in there, those are all fine. It's gonna go into the, the weapon gun category. I'm gonna hit create. And now we've got our first item created. And if you see over here, it created the server item for us, okay? Now, next, we need to put our asset somewhere. So, the gun is under common items, weapons, gun. This is where we're gonna put our models and stuff. And you have to, only have to do this the first time just because we don't have any of these base folders. So we're gonna say common, and then we're gonna say items, and then we're gonna say weapons, then we're gonna say gun. Okay, so now we've got a gun folder, weapons, items, common inside our template. And we're going to grab our, uh, let's see. Now we're going to grab our block bench model. So we're going to go get our laser gun A in a blocky model. Laser gun A texture. We're going to bring those over into our, our mod or add-in. And if I open block bench, we can see this, oh, that's not, we can see this model here. So we've got our model. Now I know that I made this model too big. So before I get in too far, I'm gonna make it half the size it is now by doing this item scale. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select my template. We're gonna browse to where the gun is, the blocky model. And then for the texture, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna flip over and we're gonna browse to where the gun is, the texture. So now we have our texture and you probably want to do an icon if you have it as well, but I don't have an icon, so I'm not going to do it. So now we have our model. We re reduced it by half, and we have our texture. And we're in our space gun, okay? So now we close these, and we can come back to here, and we can throw those away. We can search and we can say gun. And now you see we have OLC space gun A and then they have the, the default gun they gave us and then the test gun that I, I did first. So we bring it out. Did I mess it up? Oh, it's not in our hands. So you can see how it's on the ground. So we're gonna jump back. And this is one of the nice things about how this all works is it's all real time. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna make sure that this is toggled. We're just gonna export this again and make sure that I did it right. And then uh, I think we have to make sure
that the name's right. I, I always get the this uh, R attachment wrong. Let's jump back. Before it just auto-updated uh, right on the fly. There we go. So just did an update on the fly. That's fine. Okay, so now we've got our gun ready to go. You can see it shoots a little high for the dot. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, there is... Yeah, I'm not sure how shooting works. But, like, if we get really close, it feels like it's high to me. Like, if I put the dot right there, the particles are shooting high. So that could just be a particle issue. But, there you go. That gives you a plug-in with no code uh, pretty easily. You throw over, you can change the size of the weapons. It, you can see it works in just first person and second, or first person and third perfectly fine. Um, but that's it. Not too shabby, no code, really easy. Um, I assume that if you want to share that mod, you just zip it up and send it out. It should already have a unique UUID and everything ready to go. I'll probably test that next. Uh, next thing is uh, is entities. Uh, they're going to be adding in entities next. So, Thanks for watching. I'm CyberX with Outlaw and Craft. Uh, this has been a guide on how to create your first mod add-in pack for Hightail and get a weapon in using one of the current templates. Thanks for watching and subscribing. If you're going to pick up the game, don't forget to use my code CyberAx. It always helps. And uh, tell other people about the guides.